Hi, I'm Maya Faber, and in this tutorial, I will show you how to create an ebook mock up in Photoshop that you can use on, for example, your website or your sales page. So let's start in Photoshop. I'm just using a thousand pixel square in RGB color mode. And this is actually a really simple process. I made sure that I have all of the pages that I want to create the mock up of as JPEGs. So this is my cover page. I'll just drag it in and let's use two more pages. I'll just make sure that the cover page is on the top and then page two and page three. To make sure that all pages are the same size, I will select all of my pages, hit command T to transform all of them to the same size. Then I will just go ahead and turn off the visibility of page two and three and start to work with my first page of my ebook, the cover page. Next, we will add a layer style. So click the FX symbol at the bottom of your layers tool panel and hit drop shadow. And here you have a little option box where you can experiment with the drop shadow. I'm using the multiply blend mode, which I feel works great for this kind of shadow and a black color. If I increase the percentage of the opacity, I will get a darker shadow, but I think that 30 looks good for this. I can experiment with the distance of the shadow if I want it to be more floating or more close to the background. The spread, I like a kind of soft spread and the size of the shadow. I can also experiment with the angle of the shadow. I think that for a mockup with many pages like this, 45 degrees is good. So I'm using multiply blending mode with a black color, 30% opacity, 45 degrees angle, 10 pixels in distance, 10 percentage in spread, and 20 pixels in size. And then I hit OK. And here I actually have my first page of the ebook mockup. So you can use this just as it is if you just want a one page mockup. If you want a several pages mockup, I will show you how to do that. So I would just go ahead and select the page two of my workbook and hit the layer style drop shadow again. And it will automatically select the same settings as I had before. I'll hit OK, hit Command T to be able to move my second layer. And then I can move it around and see where I want to put this second layer or second page of my ebook mockup. So let's go ahead and select both of these layers, hit Command T. And I think that I want to twist them a little bit to make it a little bit more dynamic. So maybe the cover page can be twist it a little bit to the left and the second page can be a little bit flatter. Maybe something like that looks good. Let's go ahead and add the third page. So hit the layer style drop shadow again and OK. Command T to be able to move your page and move it around to a point where you feel that it looks good. When you made shadows to all of your pages, you can decide if you want to save this as a JPEG with a white background, or if you want to save it as a PNG with a transparent background. For websites, it usually looks good with a transparent background. So I will just turn off the visibility of the background, hit export, export as, and PNG. Make sure that you have the transparency selected and then hit export. And there you have your ebook mockup. And that's all for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more from me, you can check out my Skillshare classes. There's a link here below to all of my classes on Skillshare. You can also head over to Instagram to say hello at Maya Faber. And if you like this video, you can hit subscribe to my YouTube channel to make sure that you don't miss out on my future tutorials.